Greetings and salutations to all you folks out there. I just want to talk a little bit about something that has really been bothering me recently. And I, I gotta go into a little bit of a backstory on it because the realization that this was happening took me a little while. And I think you'll understand why as I tell this story. So, I listen to a little bit of talk radio. Sometimes it is, you know, like NPR, that kind of thing. Sometimes it is conservative talk radio. I like to listen to a variety of things just to have a good idea of what's going on in the world. And to have a variety of sources. Well, there's this one show that I normally listen to at lunch. And I was listening to it and I kept hearing my phone go off. And... There was nothing on my phone, and I could not figure out why my phone was not displaying what what it was ringing for. And this happened like two or three times, and it, I didn't even think about it. And then the next day it happened again, and then a few days later it happened again, and I got to really thinking about it because the ringing sounded muffled. You know, I usually have my phone in my pocket, so it's no big deal. I have it on the lowest setting, and it'll be... Uh, muffled by my clothes and that it's no big deal finally it dawned on me the iPhone ringtone was coming from the radio so we have a national talk show with hundreds of thousands of listeners and somebody in the production studio on a daily basis their phone goes off and you can hear it going off and it just blew me away and then I started listening closer, and you can hear it all over the place. If you go listen to the radio, it could be radio DJs. Um, I heard the Facebook blip on the news and weather segment of a local radio station. I've heard the Facebook or the Gmail ding um, during talking sections on a variety of radio stations. And this seems to be something that happens consistently. And it... I don't know why it hit me so hard. It's just like the social media that we're around every day is pervasive to the point that you can have professional studios engaging in production for nationally syndicated shows and their social media and phones are going off in the background and nobody notices. It's that much a part of daily life. and. I'm not going to say if that's a good or a bad thing, it just blew me away that it's gotten to that point. And I guess to a certain extent shows like that, you know, you can kind of understand it because they're interacting with people in social media, they're getting material together for their shows and that kind of thing. And that's not a huge deal, but I see it more and more like in the workplace, in any professional setting, it seems like everyone is more inclined to spend ludicrous amounts of time when they should be working or should be interacting with other people um, they spend it on social media and sometimes it gets in the way of work sometimes it annoys me more than other times but there's even weird instances like the other day I was text messaging to confirm an appointment time with someone as a lot of you know I work in construction so this was a female client I was going to her house and when I confirmed the appointment she sent me the like smiley winky emoticon as a confirmation and I had to sit there for about a minute trying to figure out you know like what the crap was going on and why someone would send me that and then I got to thinking about it and was like you know it's a girl Girls use emoticons constantly, even when we're talking about somebody who's like 30 or 35. And I know a lot of you are going to go, it's like, oh, she was coming on to you. No, she wasn't. There was absolutely zero indication outside of that that she was like interested or anything. It was just emoticons and that kind of thing have become so ubiquitous. <laughs> <laughs> that in a professional confirmation or, or a confirmation in a professional atmosphere, she would send an emoticon in. And maybe I'm making a bigger deal out of it than I should. I don't know. But it was just one of those things that struck me as really odd. And I guess, I don't know. I, I would love to hear you guys' opinions. Making I'm ma Maybe I'm making too big a deal out of this. Maybe I'm just 
completely out of touch with the world and how things actually operate but it just seems to me that in professional atmospheres social media emoticons all of that kind of thing it's just it's too much it really is too much and you know like i said could be wrong love to hear what you think about it but that is my observation today could be the crazy talking but i don't know Alrighty, guys the game in the background is a dungeon exploration game i don't actually remember what the name of it was i saw it on steam it was one that i picked up in a humble bundle a while back and i never played it so i started playing it and i proceeded to die about seven times in a row right off the bat until i figured out what the crap i was actually doing and then it was actually a decent little bit of fun and exploration so yeah, I'd never actually played a questing game before. I know that those used to be big, but I was not into computer games or the old consoles when this type of game was the biggest, was a huge draw as far as how many people played them. But it is it is a reasonable amount of fun. I think this is actually a newer release though, because it has a lot of really new jokes in it. I don't think this is a remake of an old game. Alrighty guys, that is going to wrap it up for me. I am going to cut out of here. Hopefully you will join me for the Supreme Commander cast that is uploading at this moment. It is probably already uploaded as of the re release of this video. So thank you so much for watching guys. I will see you over there.